It's finally happened. Our boy Kire has turned into a man. Gilgamesh just sees that he's planted as Blossom. And my man backstabs his master with a parting gift meant to show how he's graduated from apprenticeship. It's just so ironic, so poetic, just mwah, just oh my god. And I don't even blame Kire. I think Kire did nothing wrong. Remember about Sakura? Remember about what happened to Sakura? How a, how a terrible of a daddy is except to, you know, Rin. It does suck that Rin's, I guess, guardian will now be Kide instead of Aoi, which is... What, what the hell, dad? But hey, I'm low-key kind of excited that Kide did that. Now, a new power team has shown up. A man with so many command spells. A man that is so powerful that he just fucked up Maya and Aide. Remember that episode? Like, he is insane, but he's a superhuman. And he has Gilgamesh, who is just all there for content. He's like, Kire, you do whatever you want. The Grail already belongs to me. I don't give a fuck. But there is still a chance that... Do you think that Kire will just, like, end up using Gilgamesh at the end? I don't know. It sounds like there needs to be the truth of the Holy Grail is that seven heroic servant sacrifices are made, then a passage to the root is made. But I don't think Kide is really going for it. And that's probably why Gilgamesh was also so down with just teaming up with Kide. But anyways, let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Emiya Kiritsugo backstory? Keddy. Keddy. Emmy Akedi? This is... Okay, I mean, uh, we've been waiting for this backstory to happen, right? Because, like, this backstory will probably explain exactly why Saber said you wanted to be a hero of justice or a champion, right? But you turned out like this. Why? <laughs> Look at that what? smile. That's so weird. You never see the light in Kiritsugu's eyes, bro. Like, this light never exists anymore. What? Wow, amazing, Keddy. What are they, in some sort of tropic beach land? Surely. Is this the girl that told us about the origin? No opening. <laughs> That's a whole ass pig. <laughs> That's a whole ass pig on the beach. Did the sea god like it? I don't trust this guy. Every church member, I just immediately sus suspicious man. Wait, the girl turned into a crab? Hmm. It's like a cursed village. Crab girl, sea gods. Hmm. Where did Shirley even find him? <laughs> Little brother zoned? Kitsugo wants Shirley? You don't seem like a man? Little brother? Oh man, not a husband or a boyfriend? <laughs> But Kiritsugu got bullied for having a Japanese name here. Kiritsugu? Ew! You're Carrie! Okay. Yeah. Says these tropical people as they speak fluent Japanese. <laughs> I can't say Kiritsugu! Kiritsugu? Keritsugu. Sure. <laughs> A happy kid. This is so weird. Well, let's think about this. Kiritsugu, champion of justice, hero of justice, idealistic kid back in the day, nice smiling, but turned super black pilled. Why? He must have lost something. There must have been close deaths. So surely he's probably gonna die. But like, who else is gonna die? It can't be just because of one person, right? One person dying could change you like that? I mean, yeah? I mean, you've seen Oshinoko, bro. Aqua? Oshino Ai? Yeah, I guess so. I, I guess everything stems from Shirley. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you 
<laughs> yes, Kiritsugu is black eyes. Yeah. Yeah. When I look at this face, it's Emiya Kiritsugu. That is into planting flowers and stuff? Perfect flowers? Reality marble within internal time altar. So the Emiya family, they have some sort of magic with time. It's like halted in the perfect state. An immortal human based on the same time internally? Shirley can also do it? Nice. ねえ、父さん、シャレがやったやつ。僕もやってみるからね。いいでもらえばさ、できるよ。ね、先生。ダメだ。ダンジェロス。お前にはまだ早すぎる。ダンジェロス。きちんと積んだと判断した上で。
She gonna die in this episode, bro. In this backstory, she's probably gonna die. <laughs> Slice of life means a life's about to get sliced. Ah, oh, they all dying. I'm not getting close to Shirley, bro. You're crazy. Don't fall for it. Keep your guard up. Don't fall for it. What is it, Dad? No, sir. Did Shirley do it? Dude, the look at he... Like, <laughs> he definitely gets his eyes from his dad, bro. Look at him. Look at that face. That is the black-pilled Kiritsugu that I know in Fate Zero. Cold, ruthless eyes that sees past the abyss. What's happening today, Dad? Something bad's about to happen. Is Dad about to blow up the village? <laughs> Did he learn from Dad how to do terrorism? What happened? What's happening in the village? Something. Somebody went into her atelier, stole some research stuff. Maybe it's the church people. Maybe it was Shirley. I'm not sure. But Dad's about to, like, do something, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh god, this is bad. <laughs> Don't go outside, Kiritsugu. Don't do it. Shirley's probably dead. No, Kiritsugu, stay home. Don't do it. Could Shirley have been the one that went into Dad's atelier? This is Shirley's place? Shirley. Oh god, oh god. Shirley? Okay, we're sa- uh, uh, Something on the ground. Test. Atelier. Did she steal that? Did she steal that? <laughs> what the f chickens? I saw chickens' talons? Human mouth? Someone's eating the chickens. The chickens eating humans? What's happening? What the fuck is happening? This feels like a zombie apocalypse right now. And dad's magic time. What could have happened? I don't know. I feel like Shirley might have taken some secret shit from the research lab due to the church people. I don't know, maybe an order. Or maybe someone else went in there, took something they shouldn't have. The chickens are bloody. I just saw a mouth. I see a body. I see a human mouth, bro. Is this Shirley? I don't know. This is not good. Whose blood is that? What's behind the shed? I don't want to go check. We should stay home right now. Please don't be Shirley. Shirley? Is that you? Slice of life. Means a life's about to get sliced. What happened to you? No, 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 no. Yeah? She must have taken something from Sensei's atelier as proof, right? That Sensei is a good person to the church, but something went really wrong. And now, what the fuck is happening, bro? Is this some sort of zombie apocalypse on the island? What did you do? Kiritsugu. Can you end her right? If you don't do it now, there's still time. So if you do it now, there's still time. Here's how I foresee this happening. Kiritsugu seems to be all about the greater cause. Any sacrifice is necessary for the greater cause. People may die, but I'll save more people by sacrificing. This is a child Kirisuko that doesn't adopt that mentality just yet. There's an opportunity to end Shirley and save a lot of lives in the island, assuming that this is some sort of zombie shit. But if Kirisuko can't do this, then he'll have let more people die. You know what I mean? So... Because he fucks up here, this will be like a core memory and a principle that he'll abide by so next time he'll never let this kind of shit happen. Oh. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Kiritsuko do it. He couldn't do it. He didn't do it. Kiritsuko didn't do it. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I would have never expected that kid to be able to do it right now. Older Kiritsuko, absolutely. Right now, hell no. So now what? Where does Shirley go? Where's dad? I bet the village already found out. I bet Shirley eating them out. Where's dad? Oh, oh, zombies. This is actually zombie apocalypse. Like, this is actually zombie shit. Like, how? What kind of time magic changes you like that? Maybe there's a separate kind of magic, not just time. <laughs> They get bitten and they convert. <gasps> no, someone saved us. Someone killed a zombie. Dad? Executors. <gasps> so this is what the executors are. What Kiri is, right? Church people. Good. Okay. Imagine Risei's here. Or imagine Risei just saved Kiritsugu. In my head cannon. Can the executors take them out? Yeah, they use the same thing. Kirei has three of these things, right? It has the same handle. <laughs> Who are you? Okay, some church executor guy. Blonde. He looks like Shinji from Bleach, that fucking mushroom style cut, but interesting. Oh. He's gonna wake. Oh! Zombies! This is. This is hell! So, young Kiritsugu, due to his inaction, and killing Shirley, even more people are dead. So this must be how everything builds up to his core philosophy, right? If he had the balls to kill Shirley, no one would have died here. But you didn't do anything. Now even more people are dead. Emi Akirisugu will now remember this and uses this to justify all the heinous acts he does because at the end of the day, might save more people. Yo, this executor. Where's dad? Oh shit, the reverend. So, were the executors sent by rev? Because like, I thought the executors were like from this island. And the reverend Simon like, just like said, all right, boys, it's time to come out. But it's seemingly more like the executors are kind of like FBI agents. They're not from the island. They simply got a report and they show up to clean up the house. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is the lady. Okay, it wasn't Shirley with the origin bullshit. This is the girl, right? This must be the lady that was shown in that origin bullet episode. <laughs> Kitty to go, shoot the gun. So she was also an executor? <laughs> Chill, mommy. All right, cool. Damn, she's sick. One more behind you. Damn. Help me! Take me! Teach me! Coach me! <laughs> At this point, Kiritsuku has forgotten about Shirley. Yep. Who is Shirley? And who is this girl, bro? <laughs> Fuck, fuck Shirley. She's way cooler than Shirley, man. <laughs> Shirley, let this happen. This is all Shirley's fault, man. Your dad slash Shirley, kind of? Vampires. These are vampires? Dead apostles. Oh. How does one become one? 
Because I know our magic kind of helped, but... Church's executors. <laughs> I feel like the executors are just a bunch of psychopaths using the Lord's name to justify their killings, bro. Do they actually care about God? As long as it allows them to kill indiscriminately. Damn. They kill us, bro. Okay, so these weren't executors. Okay, Mage's Association also showed up together. I mean, he was using fucking magic. Mm, that's right, I want to keep this a secret from the masses. <laughs> the Mage Association motto is all to themselves, all to ourselves. That is such a selfish and greedy fucking motto. I love it. Dude, the, dude, the Mage Association is just all trash, right? <laughs> like, the more I hear about them, it's just a bunch of self indulgent people that's so prideful about their magic. All the mages I've seen in this show are pretty much trash. Waver included right now. Like, straight up, he is. I don't know. He's getting better as he learns from Ryder to what it means to become an actual man that's, that can earn respect. But the mages, I've learned from Fate Zero. They dookie. They suck. And what are you? Neither. I just show up because I love to shoot things. Yeah, what, what team are you on? Salesman. Like a mercenary? She sounds like she's a mercenary, huh? And she also sells like weapons and armor. I don't know, like just more things to kill with to the Mage Association. Marked for sealing. Marked. Surely. Our father. Well, I mean, it's, it's our father's lab, but like, I don't know what the fuck he's keeping in there, but the hell? It just turned them all into dead apostles? What? Was he just experimenting with dead apostles and shit? Like, what the hell is going on? Are we going to snitch on our dad? Father? Oh, he's ready to fucking dip the island. Burning everything. Is, is, is little boy going to sell father out? Well, right now it looks like father just sold us out. It looks like father just released the fucking virus. But that's not the case, right? He was experimenting shit in his atelier. And I don't know exactly what would it cause people to turn to the apostles. But fucking Shirley's the one that showed up and happened to just find the one thing that could turn people into dead apostles because they wanted to like validify... You know, Emi uh, Kiritsuku's dad's existence here, but I don't know. Based on, like, he got a shitload of money. <laughs> He's got a bunch of stuff. He got a gun, too. Just disposing of all the evidence. Now, is our son gonna snitch on us? Oh, yeah, what the hell's going on, dad? Because the dead apostles... Are like zombies. Maybe zombies are really close to like immortal beings. That seems to be fixated on time shit. You know, making a plant be stuck in its current time only to enact immortality. Maybe the dead apostles somehow had some sort of like research adaptability to like his immortality experiment. <laughs> Yeah, it is what it is, kid. Kind of sucks, right? Shirley dead? Oh, man. That's crazy. Anyways, you want to get out of here? We got we to gotta get the fuck out of here, kid. <laughs> Dad, Shirley's dead. The entire village is zombies. Dad, why would you study this shit? <laughs> it is what it is. You know? You want to get out of here, kid? Early answer? She's simply specimen? An early answer? Yeah. The dad is trash. The dad is fucking trash, just like the rest of the mages, man. Surely was a test rat. Early answer. It wasn't my attention, but it just... Or he's so fucking disconnected from, like, morals and ethics because of mage pride. I don't know. Probably. Hmm. But... A dead apostle that can control its bloodlust. 
is the success that you're looking for, and that is your definition of immortality? Unlimited time. Oh. But with an immortal body, with the dead apostle that can control everything again for the root, right? So, Dad never considered um, Holy Grail War? Well, it's, that's pretty fucking hard to win, right? It seems like the Holy Grail War literally exists to get to the root, but there's another potential way if you have an immortal body, but I bet you this probably wouldn't have worked either, right? <laughs> He's more upset about his research failing than this fucking village that's burning up in flames with a zombie apocalypse. You know what? The church people, the rest of the village people were right. They were perfectly in the right to just suspect Kiritsuku's dad and be scared of him. Absolutely. 1000%. I thought that he was like a guy being outcasted because of his knowledge of magic. And I'm like, oh, this kind of sucks, you know? He's like the boogeyman. They won't let you know him close. But like, nah, bro. They were absolutely correct. They should have never let his ass land on the village. Nakazuki <laughs> He fucking knew that this shit was gonna happen, bro. Like, he won hundred fucking. <laughs> And he still did it, and he had this shit ready. All his escape plan was already ready before he even got here. Ready perfectly. I don't have anything, Dad. So, <laughs> the dagger! The dagger, bro! So, <laughs> oh, he did it! His first kill? A hero of justice. First blood. Damn, with that dagger, bro. What you gonna do now, Dad? First kill. Do it for Shirley. Holy shit, he did it. I mean, he already stabbed him, but... Three taps. You can't get rid of that gun, bro. That gun won't leave him. Damn. Look at that. After he shot his dead, sorry, his dad dead, and he totally deserves this shit, but he throws to like, he tries to like throw the gun away, right? But he can't. That's kind of deep, isn't it? That's a part of you now. Embrace it. <laughs> Who were you? <laughs> Is there a good reason for a kid to kill his father? <laughs> Honestly, if there's any reason, I feel like this is a great reason to kill his father, right? I, I kind of know what she's saying, but at the same time, I feel like this is like 200% justified. Good as relatable. Coach me, train me. <sighs> Leaving everything behind. CGI flames go so crazy. All the plants. Yo, Yuki Kaijira popping off. Distant memories. This some fucking episode 15 Re Zero style. End the fucking episode. Credits roll. Just play a fucking banger, bro. Post-credit scene? Natalia Kaminsky. And then he becomes like a trained assassin with her, right? In the path of a hunter, where justice is found. Well, technically this is, you know, preview of next episode. That's today's episode. And I should have trusted my gut instinct. The moment that I saw Kiritsuku's dad, there was such a darkness to him. Like the moment I saw his face, I was like, this feels bad, but I thought, oh, you know, it's Emiya Kiritsuko's dad, he shares the same eyes, but like, bro, he was conducting dead apostle experiments on this island. How the hell 
in the span of one fucking day, he would just go off from, Oh, kitty, wow, let's jump off and have fun. Wow, so happy, happy. You must kill me now, Kiritsugu. If you don't kill me right now, I'm going to turn into a zombie and kill everybody. And then the executor do it. Insane. Absolute fucking insanity. And now, I don't think it's... It, and, and then the backstory's not over yet. Now he's going to go with Natalia and learn all about, like, how he trains the art of the gun and becomes a ruthless killer but in terms of the like the core philosophy of what kind of man emi akitsugu is and why he's such a anti-hero ready to sacrifice anything ready to blow up an entire plane just for one target because that one target may have ended even more lives we get to see that in plain sight and i honestly don't even fucking blame him this entire fucking village was just burned crucified because Kiritsugu wasn't able to take action on Kill Shirley. Now, it goes on beyond that, right? Dad should have never been doing Dead Apostle research here, and Shirley should have never gone in there and fucked around with the research, but still, Kiritsugu's inactions did attribute to everyone dying here. So, with that core memory intact, I'm sure he's gonna just turn into the most ruthless fucking killer. The most black-pilled anti-hero I've ever seen in anime, and I love this character. I understand the flaws associated with the philosophy, but it is also so compelling to see a man struggle with these ideals as he starts to realize, like, all of these killings, like, is it worth it? But you're saving more people at the end of the day, right? It's fascinating to me, the psychology behind it. And that's it from me, man. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.